Welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Doom 2 on PlayStation 4 Unity Port. This time we are on level 9 the pit, 205 enemies, 6 secrets. Right off the bat, grab the mega armor and lower the lift in front of you, rying it up, taking out the enemies immediately in front of you, as well as the shotgun soldiers around the corner to keep your ammo up. Ammo conservation is everything on this map. Because they throw a lot of high tier enemies at you. Uh, and give you very little ammo to work with. So let's go ahead and take these imps out in the back corner. Trying to get more than one kill per hit. Like that. Hit this switch to raise that platform. This switch to lower the window right beside us to get ammo and berserk. We can use the berserk to take these imps out since they're all in a single file line. There we go. We can cheese the lifts by just tapping them and then rying them up instead of waiting for them down in the pit. Uh, let's go ahead and take that imp out before we get over there because we want to head now to the tallest platform so that we can take out the pain LMLs before they're able to spawn anything. Since we have Berserk, just stay right in their face and they're more or less helpless. There we go. While we're up here, go on into the lion head, take out all the lost souls while we're here. Grab the supercharge around the corner, hit the switch, and with this secret, walk toward the rocket launcher for a platform to raise, grab it, but back up to take out the shotgun soldiers. That way we don't trigger the trap behind us. Switch back to the rocket launcher to grab these two rockets. And quickly hit everything, hiding in one of the two corners to minimize how many chain gun soldiers are shooting you at once. Using the Lost Souls as basically meat shields, just like that. Because they absolutely will not stop. And the Lost Souls are pretty much helpless here. Go ahead, grab all the ammo left behind. And since that switch opened a monster closet just outside of here, let the enemies come to you. Don't run out there to them, because you will get filled full of holes. Just slowly inch around the corner as you let them come your way. Right into your line of fire. As you can see, it's a lot of shotgun soldiers and chain gun soldiers. With that done, head on out to the next room. Taking out our Hell Knight. As close as possible. That way he'll go down as fast as possible. And then all the imps that are trapped up on the ledge. Okay. This switch that we stepped on raised those stairs for an area that we're going to head to soon. Go ahead and head outside with our new bridge and run around to get everything to kill each other. If you get close to a mancubus and he looks like he's going to attack, just hit him with the shotgun to stun him so you can move by. Ideally, we want everything to end fight with everything and wipe themselves out since we don't have a lot of ammo to work with. Just make sure to take out the hit scanners. So one of the bankibus are down. Just have him keep taking off everyone in here. And anyone that is not fighting, we can take pot shots at. Yeah. 
using the infighting to our advantage. There we go. And just like that, we're already out of shotgun ammo. As we mentioned, ammo is very hard to come by in this map. Now, on the other side, you'll notice some new imps roaming around. That's because on the other side of the wall, uh, four imps were released as well as one specter. So they're going to be roaming around here since we let them out. Imps are not as easy to punch out in wide open areas. There we go. Much easier to take out in close quarters. Now with this secret, just walk toward the platform for it to lower. Just make sure you get on the platform because that pit is a death pit if you don't get on it when it lowers. And that is going to be secret number three. Make sure you get all the ammo. In the next area, we're going to be flooded with Lost Souls and Imps. Just take them out at a corner so that they'll have a harder time reaching you when they attack. And you can ideally take them out before they can even get out the door. Just like that. Around the corner. Around the corner. Notice we're getting cells, so we're means we're either going to get the plasma rifle or the BFG. And if you look, there are lights in this section. Open it up, and it is the BFG they're giving us. Sounds like a good thing, but with ammo being a problem, it's not as good as it sounds. Now back here, there's going to be an ambush. When we hit that switch, a mancubus will lower here and two pain L mills, cacodemon, and some imps will appear here. But we can cheese the mancubus out early by running to the switch but not pressing it. So we can take him out by himself. With plenty of area to move, that should be no problem. Grab the rockets and leave the berserk there. We're gonna need that later for a full health restore. Hit the switch and nuke everything before it has a chance of spawning all the lost souls. Make sure they're all gone. And just like that, we are at 128 kills, 5 secrets. Hit the switch and jump to where the Hell Knight was. Hitting this switch raises the stairs to this platform. And when we jump off the platform, the blue key lowers. Grab the armor. And just like that, we are ready for the second half of the level at 128 kills and five of six secrets. So go ahead in the blue key door, hit the switch to open the wall, and now we have three paths. The easiest is the one in the middle, the hardest is the one on the left, so that one's just in the middle. So let's start with the easiest one first, rocket launcher at the ray. And we want to sneak around the corner and take out two Paynell Mills hiding in the pit. From relative safety. Just be mindful of any of their lost souls they do manage to spawn. There we go. Now in the pit you can see there is cell ammo, backpack, health, a bunch of goodies on the left side with a switch that will lower the platform we're staying on. So get ready to get burned and move as quickly as possible. Grabbing the cell ammo, the backpack, all of these goodies. Hit the switch, grab the health, and we're out. First of these three rooms are done. Next one, let's open. And we have a platform with a bunch of enemies on elevated platforms, and a bunch of lost souls down in the pit that will teleport to the front where you just were. Try and take them out before they can teleport, but if they do, just know they'll be up above you. Okay. 
and there are even more lost souls on the other side of you. So walk toward the end and it will teleport you back. Thin out as much of the herd as we can with the rocket launcher. All the chain gut ammo we have, go ahead and take everything out that's up there, especially the hit scanners, so that we can just deal with the lost souls. So as you approach the platforms, they lower. You can see there's a whole bunch of lost souls. Ideally, they will teleport out here so we can deal with them individually. But they don't always like to cooperate. We really don't want to have to waste ammo on them if we can help it. But we most likely will. Again, make them miss and then give them a smack. Or get them to end fight like that. Not too many left. I believe we're down to just one. Let's play ping pong with it. There we go. So now let's let all of the platforms reset and then we can trigger them all at once. Just make sure to grab the ammo as you go on them. Ammo and health. There, there we go. Now on this foul platform, which acts as a secret, make sure not to step on the teleporter and not to step on the green goo, because both of them will teleport you back out of here. So grab the super sphere, mega armor, rocket ammo, cell ammo, everything sneakily, and with all that said and done, teleport back to the start, and we're done with the second room. Bring us to 160 kills and all secrets. Now in this foul room, we want to go in guns blazing because there's going to be two pain L mills right off the bat in our face. So as soon as they show up, go ahead and give them the BFG. Just to make life a little easier. And with our Lost Souls taken out, we want to use every scrap of ammo we have to snipe everything possible from up here, so we're not wasting as much BFG ammo in here. But we absolutely have to get rid of a lot of these enemies ahead of time, especially the ones down there in the pit. Let the splash damage do its thing. That way we make sure to hit any enemies we can't see yet. Shotgun at the ray. Our environmental suit's on the right, so let's drop in the right corner to get it. Clear out everything else that's down here. Before we can hit the switch to lower the platform in the middle. Make sure if something does sneak out that we take care of it appropriately and get the BFG at the ray because we're about to be suffocated by pinkies and remembering that we have berserk we can deal with the straggling pinkies ourselves just like that flip this switch this one and make our way to the foul platform making sure to take out any imps along the way and now we can run quickly through it hitting that switch this switch this switch and we are out of here that is all three rooms complete bringing us to six secrets and 193 kills reopen the wall and we are out of here 
only one area left to explore, and that is the yellow key room. Have the BFG at the ray. And go in the yellow door from the middle platform. Because from here, we can sneak up on some pain LMLs, which is crucial. Don't even give them the time of day. Here's where we want to use the BFG. And you want to unload absolutely everything in this room. Because right across from you is a bunch of Mancubus. And in the pit is a bunch of Spectres. The Spectres we can handle ourselves, no problem. But these Mancubus can be an absolute nightmare. Especially when we get it down to just our fist. So let's backtrack a little, make sure we have not missed any ammo anywhere that can be used to help us. Especially this room that had all the ammo. Yes, every shell counts. So there's nine more, eight more that we can use for these Mancubus. Remembering we have a Berserk to fully restore our health. There's one down. One looks like he's stuck in a door. We might be able to take advantage of this with Berserk. Until he pops loose. Shotgun at the right. Snipe them from down here. And he is not to make this easy for us. No more ammo out here. I hate to grab the Berserk already. But there is health in the tallest lift. Just dodge his attacks. Grab it. And luckily, some ammo that we missed when we were up here. And use everything left to take out the Hell Knight. We don't care about the specters down there. We have Berserk. And with all that said and done... Use every last ounce of our strength to punch out the remaining specters. Just do everything possible not to get yourself cornered by them. All the armor bonuses and at that point we are... Double check... Yes, 205 kills. Map 9 complete. This map is an absolute slugfest. It actually took me a few tries to get past this one, and like you saw, ammo is extremely tight. If he would just give us a little bit more, I think it would be a whole much better experience. But all in all, amazing music track and crazy set pieces. We'll meet you back in the next one, map 10, the refueling base, one of my favorites of Doom 2. We'll see you then.